regarding camping ban. Pardon? Good morning. Welcome. If you could uh, please take a seat. Yes, I'd be happy to. And give us a... Leave this here where you can okay. see it. And I'll take it up to you and let you all see what I have put together. <clears throat> I'm here to talk about... Before you start, we need your... Let's talk about what we call the camping ban. Excuse me. Give us your name, please. Oh, I'm Jimmy Target. Okay, and you have three minutes. Oh, thank you very much. So I'm here to talk about uh, what has been come to be known as the camping ban. And uh, as you came into City Hall today, you may have noticed a vigil on the patio of City Hall, which has been here since December of last year. So we're closing in on a year. The vigil is to request one thing of the city council. We're asking city council to restore some humanity to the ordinances relating to people protecting themselves from the elements on the street. And I came to realize that part of the problem is some confusion. We call it the camping ban. And just for the city council members, I'd like to point out the middle of the, the diorama here, this is what we all think of when we think of camping. You'll notice people are out in the woods, they've got a campfire, they've got a tent, and there's trees and sleeping bags. These are important. I'd like to just let everybody else just briefly see what, what I'm referring to here. Nobody's, nobody's confused about this as being camping. Well, next to this, you'll notice a scene which may look familiar to you, which we call living on the street. This is not camping. And I understand that there's some confusion, and I understand why there might be some confusion, because there's a lot of similarities, like there's trees and there's people in sleeping bags. But this is not camping. The people in the middle who are camping probably want to be there. They're probably having a good time. The people on the side here who are living on the street probably don't want to be there, and they're probably not having a good time. Language is that important that it gives us false impressions. And that's what I'm here to talk about today, is the false impression that we create when we call this a camping ban. This is not a camping ban. This is a ban against people getting to have that most basic human function called sleep. And I'd also like to just point to the other side of the diorama here, which may look familiar to you as well. And let me apologize first off just for how shabby City Hall is. But let me just say, this is protesting. And you can tell protesting because oftentimes there'll be signs which I have some miniatures here. And I also like to say that there's one other little aspect of protesting that sort of sets it apart. And besides the signs and the people maybe holding a vigil out in front of City Hall, you also notice, notice that there's a concentration of courage kind of in this area right here. I'd just like to point out to you that the courage is concentrated right here. Mr. Tardy, your, your time is up. So thank, thank you very you much. Thank you very much. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Could you please uh, read the next communication, Carla? Item 1107.